Welcome back to TechBet Pike. Today we're going to be going over the benchmarking and gaming results of the Asus Rogue Zephyrus Duo 16 gaming laptop. And if you remember, this laptop came with two screens. So uh, the main screen, which was 165 hertz QHD screen, and then you got the ScreenPad Plus here which is a 4K touch screen, um, which you could do a lot with. So if you're ever in the market for a laptop but want a dual screen, uh, here you go. This is your guy. And I think Asus is the only one that's actually uh, doing this right now with the two screens. So anyway, just keep that in mind. Uh, we did an unboxing of this particular laptop a couple weeks ago. We've posted that video already. We've been doing some benchmarking and some gaming since then and we want to bring those results to you right now but first let's go over the specs of this particular laptop we went over the screens this also comes with an amd ryzen 6900 hx processor an rtx 3080 ti uh, gpu at um, 165 watts max, I believe. And then it comes with a two terabyte SSD, 32 gigabytes of RAM, comes with a 720p camera. And so we're gonna go through all that, um, the screens, the performance, and uh, we're gonna bring those results to you right now. Let's get into it. This is the 720p camera. This is my third time uh, checking it out. And the microphone really is bad. Uh, it kind of sounds like you're in a tunnel. Camera's okay, uh, makes me look a little washed out. I'm gonna type, and I know you can probably hear it a little bit. It's good for conferencing calls, and that's pretty much it. Asus laptops come with a app called Armory Crate, where you can manage the settings of your laptop based on what you're doing. Also monitor uh, certain components of the laptop, like the CPU and GPU. It has a Windows silent performance turbo and manual. These are fan speeds. And then you have a number of GPU modes where you can go from eco, optimized, standard, and ultimate where uh, the muck switch is engaged and you will need to restart the system uh, for that change to take place. You can also monitor the fan speeds, memory, and storage usage. If I switch over here, you can also configure your system uh, based on overdrive panels and uh, certain keys, and then you can add games to your library, and you can also uh, tweak the settings of your keyboard backlighting uh, based on whatever mood you're in. Uh, we are gonna go for Starry Night. So I want to highlight the secondary screen here, the ScreenPad Plus, and it is a regular laptop screen, 14 inch. Um, I could easily see gamers using this for like Discord, Streamlabs, or OBS, and there's certain things you can um, uh, adjust the brightness of the screen. There's all kinds of features. If you get down to right around here, you can like, um, do quick keys, you can do, um, you know, do the number key here, just like that, pops up. Um, there's all kinds of different features. You come back down here to the bottom button and you have um, all kinds of different settings like the display setting here. Let's go to scale and resolution. Right now I have it on 3840 by 1100, but you can make it 920 by 550. Other scales and resolution that you can uh, easily do. You can go to like Windows Control, lower screen pad plus brightness, which I just showed you, Control Center. Uh, you have a quick guide, all kinds of things. You can play games and bring the uh, browser down to the secondary screen and browse the internet if you want. Uh, so lots of features you can use the secondary screen for. Um, and so there you go. I think it's a fantastic um, add addition to this laptop. We did some main screen testing with our Spider X Pro. And uh, as you can see here, we got 100% of sRGB. We got 86% of Adobe RGB. And 96% of P3. 
So we did some synthetic benchmarking using 3D Mark, and we used Time Spy Fire Strike. We did a CPU and storage benchmarking. Um, for our Time Spy score, we got a graph score of 12,668 and a CPU score of 9,729. Uh, we we're just a little bit below average compared to online uh, with a good score of 12,118. Fire Strike, we got a graphics score of 33,294, physics score of 27,926, and then a combined score of 13,587. We got an excellent score, uh, which was just in the middle of average and best, best being at 30,000, uh, just south of that, and we got the 28,362, which is great. A CPU profile benchmarking, our max threads were at 7631, and then our one thread was 961, and then we got a couple here, 16, 8, 4, and 2 threads. Our storage benchmark here, we got uh, 2987. We did some synthetic benchmarking using Geekbench 5 where we got a single core score of 1,442 and a multi-core score of 10,146. I'm going to go ahead and scoot down here to the single core performance and you can slow this video down to get a better look at these stats. And now the multi-core performance scores. On Geekbench 5, our OpenCL score was 144,223. And I'm just going to scroll down here for detailed stats on OpenCL performance. We did some FPS scoring uh, on a number of games, uh, starting out with like Marvel Spider-Man, the remastered, and uh, Star Wars Battlefront, and A Plague's Tale Requiem. These games were set on high, and the muck switch on the laptop was switched to uh, on, so we had to do a reboot. Uh, but let's take a look at those. generally scared of you guys, but one pilgrim saved my life. doing some performance testing with Cyberpunk 2077 and it looks like it's the temperatures are really focused right um, below the second screen there. It's around 38 to about 40 Celsius. Just a little over 40 actually. Trackpad, keyboard, things are a little bit cooler but once you get up 
right about there, that's when things start to really heat up. Like I said, right below the second screen above the keyboard. We are doing some fan noise testing uh, on Cyberpunk 2077 and uh, all settings on the laptop is on high and the game is set to ultra settings. So we're going to go ahead and hit this real quick. Okay, that's not bad. 52 decibels between 52 and 53. So that is the Asus Rogue Zephyrus Duo 16 gaming laptop. This thing is a beast. I really enjoyed having it here and getting an opportunity to play around with it. Some games, some benchmarking. I can't say m many negative things about this laptop, really. Uh, it's built very well, very good quality. Uh, has plenty of opportunity for upgrading, plenty of I.O. The only thing I didn't like is the trackpad on the side, but the keyboard's good and the screens. I mean, uh, Asus, like I said before, is the only manufacturer that has a dual screen laptop. So if you're in the market for a dual screen uh, with a laptop and you don't want to get a separate, you know, external monitor, this is your guy if you're going to plan to game on it. Um, after that, uh, the only other negative that I can think about is the fact that it's just south of $3,800 on Amazon. And that's pretty expensive uh, to be plunking down for a gaming laptop. Um, you pay a premium for those dual screens. I would say this is in the top tier like Razer and Alienware, but those laptops don't have the dual screen feature so there you go um, if you're looking for something a little less expensive you definitely can probably find it out there and still get the same gaming results and benchmarking results uh, without spending a premium price um, but like i said before you won't get that dual screen anyway if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this from tech by pike hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. it helps the channel. Not only that, gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. And for that, we thank you. We'll see you in the next one.